Hey there everyone, so in today's video we are going to talk about a pricing table plugin. So with the help of this plugin you will be able to make some really amazing looking or I should say elegant looking pricing menu on your website. With the help of this plugin you will be able to get some really amazing feature and this is very super easy to use as well. I will show you how you can use this with your own WordPress website. And the best part uh, about this plugin is that this is also Elementor capable, right? This is also mobile responsive. As you can see, it has over 1000 plus sales, which is a really big deal, right? Let me show you the preview, what kind of uh, interface we will get once we try to install this particular plugin on our website. If we come here and click preview, you will be redirected to the demo page URL and here are some demos which we can import on our website with super easy steps i will show you how you can do that as you can see this is the demo of one this is the second demo you can add this is the third demo i will show you how you can create all of these uh, this is super simple first of all you need to download this plugin so you have to bought it i am assuming that you have already bought it from here or anywhere else you want to buy it that's totally your choice okay so once you have bought this plugin uh, on and it is on your computer next step is to come to your website and install this plugin so for this video purpose i will use uh, my domain youtube.samhiranclub.com i generally make so generally i make all my tutorial videos on this particular domain as you can see it has a e-commerce website up and running which is really elegant and beautiful right so coming back to the point and here first of all we need to log into the website if you don't know how to log in uh, that's super simple uh, at the end of your url or the domain name you just need to type slash login and you will be redirected to the login page and you need to put your username and password and you are good to go then you will be redirected to the dashboard and it will look something like this and on the left hand side you will see a section of plugins right so with the help of plugin it uh, helps us to in what should i say it it helps us to extend some kind of functionality on your website right and here you come here and click uh, add new and you will see the section of uploading the plugin click here and uh, select the file wherever you have downloaded this is the file i have selected and click on install now so i'm assuming that i have already installed this plugin let me check install now and if i have already installed it it will show me an error right i have already installed it i just need to activate this plugin here it is i'll just activate it and i'll show you how simply you can use this plugin because this is super easy to use okay on the left hand side you will see now a new section pricing table click here and you need to create a widget first right so we will create a widget and we will name it as pricing price okay and scroll down now this is the interface which you will get the more you play around with this widget the more you will get to know okay so how many columns do you want or, or what kind of look do you want in your columns like do you want it to be a table form or like a grid form and a column form we can go with this one and what is the skin uh, you want in your column sections right so this is the second skin this is the third this is the fourth i guess the fifth one the first one is looking perfectly fine let's go with that one you can always change the color of those grid if you want red you can always go here and pick another if you want green let's go with the green color okay uh, these are this and the content you can play around with the content here you need to change the title you can do featured item here is the bullet points which you can change uh, add new you can add new here stuff and you can go to the back section uh it's like the more you play uh, with the settings you you will get to know about it if you want to change the pro plan you can change the title of the pro plan right now it's pro you want to uh, make it like big plan you can always change that and this is the caption of that big plan growing business you can come back and if you want to change the plan of this big plan you can come here change the plan to 19 to 50 dollars or uh, like yeah 50 dollars or anything and if you want it to be per month per week per year you can choose uh, choose that or you just want to be a one-time fee you can just select none right and you can change uh, the currency you can send the prefix or suffix anything you want right and here there is no caption that's really good if you want to add caption here they will go okay coming back here back and appearance do you want to change the color of the title do you want to change the feature or uh, any kind of appearance like 
the feature and here you can change the style uh, you can left align right align you can change the icon color you can make it red you can change the text color you can make it red as well and you can increase the font by coming here i will just undo everything and we will just go on here and we will reset this i guess there has to be a button to reset everything right i'll just create a new one and we will try to just import it on our website uh, let's save this one and we will get a short code from this coming back to the widget section as you can see i just created this one and we get a short code and i will just go to my website and add this pricing table on our front end as you can see i am using elementor i just need to click here edit with elementor and i will add that short code on our page cool so elementor interface is opening generally it takes up to 5 to 10 seconds we have to wait for that okay as the interface is loaded we will add we will add that pricing table here uh, come on the left side we will drag this short code and we'll paste the short code and hit apply and that will automatically fetch the whole table here and we just have to update the page okay this page is still loading and we will click here update once it is updated we can go back to the home page and hit refresh i'm pretty sure that table has been imported successfully on our website as you can see this is the table which you uh, just created on the back end with the help of this plugin so i hope you really get my point how you can easily make these kinds of plugin with your own hands this is not uh, something like a rocket science or something like that okay so i hope you really like this video if you did just give it a big thumbs up and i'll catch you in the next one